All right there, boys and girls, we're back at it again. And today I've got an absolute banger. Today we are looking at the Shoei X14 Rainy. Now this is the Wayne Rainy replica that came out a few years back from Shoei and it's on their X14 helmet. Now if you don't know, Wayne Rainey is an American motorcycle racer who raced in the 80s and early 90s. He won the 500cc World Championship in 1990, 91, 92. In 89, he came in second place to Eddie Lawson. And in 1993, he was leading the World Championship by 11 points heading into the Italian Grand Prix where he suffered his career ending injury which left him paralyzed from the chest down and in 93 Kevin Schwantz went on to win the world title and Wayne never raced again. When I was growing up as an American in the late 80s early 90s is when I started watching motorcycle racing I was just drawn to it. I love motorcycles and Kevin Schwantz, Wayne Rainey, these were the Americans who I rooted for. They were my heroes. And I really loved Wayne Rainey and, and Kevin Schwantz and their battles were really epic. Wayne was a little bit more of a calculated, smoother racer, whereas Schwantz was a little bit more balls to the walls, letting it slide out all over the place. I love them both. But personally, I've always enjoyed Wayne Rainey's helmet graphic and when Shoei released this one a few years back I had to have it. The X14 is Shoei's top of the line model. It is their track day helmet but if you're just looking to have one helmet that could do it all this uh, this will do the trick. The X14 it's comfortable enough to wear every day but it's uh, great high speed stability and really uh, nice ventilation from it. I really loved Wayne and I always liked his riding style. It was really a tragic thing when he got paralyzed in 93. Um, Kevin went on, Kevin Schwantz went on to win the championship and then uh, the Mick Dewan era came along in 94, 95, 96, 97. Um, those, that era was the Mick Dewan era of the Honda and then Valentino Rossi came and that's kind of how the progression and it turned in from the 500cc championship into MotoGP. The guys who rode the 500cc two-strokes, that's man's territory. That's, that's big boy stuff. These things had no traction control, no electronics. They were just insane animal motorcycles. These things were fucking beasts, the machines. And these guys just manhandled them. And Wayne was just a great racer. You know, it's hard to think about now, but there are, used to be a lot of Americans who did fairly well. You know, I don't know after Wayne, who rode for Yamaha as an American, would be Colin Edwards and also Ben Spees. You know, that and, you know, Nikki winning the championship in 2006. Americans haven't had much success in the championship in a long time. And this 90s was, you know, late 80s, early 90s was the era in which I came into loving motorcycle racing, much to the chagrin of, of my parents and my mother, who, you know, felt like she approved of my wanting to own motorcycles and, and and race around on them but you know what once you can uh once you can afford the hobbies that you enjoyed as a kid um and that's what you that's what you do when you're older and this helmet fills that void for me it has that bit of nostalgia now this showy x14 graphic is one of the most sinister graphics for a helmet i own there's a few helmets that i think look like they would be a bad guy in a movie would be wearing them. And this helmet is one of them. The other one is my Arai Corsair X in the frost black. Because when you wear that frost black, all blacked out, it looks like something you see in the Kill Bill movies or something one of the bad guy villains, all black helmet. But this is another helmet that is really, really nice. It's, a, it's got a white base, a flat white base. It has flat black paint. It has fluorescent red, which you know matches the Ducati. Sorry, I got a little washed out. It matches the Ducati, it matches my CD Rex boots. 
It matches a lot of my gear. I really, really love the colorway. I also dig the waviness down here. It kind of reminds me of Saved by the Bell, the intro graphics to when the show um, used to start. So it's very 90s-esque. And it's just, it's just kind of like, you know, paying tribute to my childhood heroes. And uh, when I got the helmet, it came with a sticker that said Wayne. Uh, and I put it on because that's what the guys did in the 90s. You know, Eddie Lawson had a, a sticker. I'm not too sure if it said Eddie or if it said Lawson on his. It might have said Eddie. And Wayne uh, followed suit. So I, it did not come with this sticker all, already put on. I placed that there. I didn't want to place it on the back, even though you know, I take the DOT stickers and the Snell stickers off because I think they look cornball as fuck. Uh, so there's a big gap here in the back of the helmet. Big void there, but they always put their names more on the top. So I put the Wayne sticker there. I think it looks pretty fucking boss. You know, I never see people wearing this helmet. Maybe because a lot of the newer riders, younger guys, don't know who the fuck Wayne Rainey is. And, you know, fuck you. Shame on you. You should know. You should know your fucking history. How are you going to watch MotoGP and all this stuff if you don't know what the history of it is? But really true to form, it's a great replica. It captures the essence of what Wayne Rainey's helmets used to look like when he rode for the Yamaha Marlboro team and his sinister... You know, with the red and the white. A lot of people always think Yamaha is all blue. You know, with Rossi now with the blue and the flow yellow. Yamaha used to be the Marlboro team, you know, before they started sponsoring uh, Ducati. But yeah, Yamaha was red and white. And it re this, this helmet goes great with a lot of my gear. And that's why I really enjoy it. It's just an ode to the 90s, a tribute to a, a childhood hero. While there's not, you know, too much to the graphic, it's fairly simple, I do like the use of metallic in the gray. I like the gaps here with, for the transitions and the just the, the swoopy, the swooshiness of it all. The lines, they're just really, really great. You know, you can't go wrong with the Showy X14 helmet. If you have the means and you're looking for an everyday helmet, this is the one to grab. Showy X14, rainy. As always, stay fresh.